Our first guests are trending. They are all over my social media, friend. In fact, my friend Angela Rye, I was at a fashion event. She said, you have to have these ladies on. So, of course, I called my team and they were like, done. Aside from seeing them all over my social feeds, I've had at least two different women, as I said, personally say, you got to have them on the show. Why do they say it? Check out the story. In 2012, Melissa Butler was working as a financial analyst on Wall Street, but that was about to change. I always found myself having conversations about beauty. Everyone was thinking that beauty looked like one thing. It boiled me inside. Fed up with the cosmetics aisle and how it only catered to the typical standards of beauty, she teamed up with her closest friend, Roscoe Spears, on a mission to change it. From their Brooklyn kitchen and with no beauty industry experience, they created a vegan, cruelty-free beauty brand called The Lip Bar. Lots of boxes in the living room, literally squeezing by pounds of shea butter and pigment to get to the bedroom. It really looked like a fairy dust factory. But this was no overnight success. They were rejected by nearly 75 investors, including the sharks from Shark Tank. But that didn't stop them. And now the lip bar is valued at over $30 million and is in over 5,000 stores nationwide. It was fearlessness that got them where they are today. Please welcome trailblazers, dream chasers, Melissa Butler and Roscoe Spears. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh my goodness, where do I start? <laughs> As I said, Angela Rice said, oh, you gotta get, I have been inundated with people who wanted to have you on this show. Not that I didn't want you, <laughs> but I figured y'all were busy with a $30 million empire. <laughs> That billboard that you put up in Detroit, was it? Or, you put it up everywhere. You put it up everywhere. Because I saw it on the Detroit feed. This, Shark Tank told me to quit 10 years later and 2 million units sold. Thanks, Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roscoe, 2015, you go on Shark Tank. Uh -huh. Your story has become viral again because people were looking at the, the feedback. The feedback yeah. was harsh. It was very direct. Basically said, Pack up and go because you're not going to make it. Correct. <laughs> Since then, Mr. Wonderful was on a radio show, and he did say, um, quote, I'm proud of them for taking the heat. They were facing an almost impossible task because going into cosmetics industry is so difficult to get market share, but they pulled it off. you got to applaud them. <laughs> <laughs> you got to applaud yourself. Okay. Reaction to the reaction. Because it hit people to see you down, but the up is so much better. Yeah, they, the way that everyone responded to the shark's feedback, it was incredible. Yeah. Like, it's um, something that we never could have imagined. So while they told us no, we got so much support after they told us no. Yeah. And because of the harsh feedback, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe they said that. We're gonna buy all of the lipsticks. Don't even know what you're saying, <laughs> but we're gonna buy it. <laughs> You know, Melissa, that's what this show is about, really, is, you know, life is not a straight path. You don't, life is not A to B. No. Nope. It takes a lot of Zs and twists and all that. That day when you walk off the set, because I've never been on the show, so I don't know what happens. Do you go back in your dressing room crying? What, yes. what happened? Yes, oh, absolutely. We cry. On that day, Roscoe was absolutely the stronger one. Yes. I was distraught. Like, this was my life's work. It was my life savings. I was working on Wall Street at the time, and I saved up every single penny to put into the business. And like, they told us <laughs> we would never make it. <laughs> and Roscoe was like, forget them. Uh. <laughs> So, Roscoe, how could you, I mean, yeah, so Melissa's weeping. You're yeah. like, no, we go get them. What, what made you confident, or were you faking it until you make it? No, so we were building the brand for yeah. 
three years, it wasn't like we were going on the show with an idea. Like, we had a proper business. Right, you had a proper business. Yeah, we didn't know said, exactly what we were doing. You had shea butter all over the house. You've yeah. been testing the product. <laughs> yeah. You had the yeah. vision. So you had the product. You knew it was special. And people loved it. Right, and people loved it. Yeah. Just at a, a much smaller scale, right? right? And so... In that moment, yeah. we had to make the decision to show up for our community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, I always say, we didn't start the business for the sharks, so we weren't going to end the business for the sharks. I love yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, your relationship, though, goes back decades. Mm -hmm. You've been friends. You were roommates. Yeah. Yes. So, you're, like, besties and, and business, business partners. Besties. Yes. <laughs> How hard is that? Uh, it's it's well, I think we've made it through our hurdle, but like, yeah, I mean, we've been friends. We met in high school. We've been friends for Since you we know were over two Since decades. You were fifteen. Yeah. 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 So like, <laughs> you have to learn how to work with your friends and family, mm -hmm. and like, we went through those struggles, and now it's like we know that when we're giving each other feedback, it's just to make ourselves better and make yeah. the business better. Which is mature because people yeah. often think, yeah, right, because. We just recently had a show called Dynamic Duos. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, yeah, we have these visions of doing it on our own. But once you bring in one person or others as part of the team, you have to be cohesive. And yeah. that doesn't always mean getting along and yeah. having the exact ideas, but it's having the vision. It's yeah. almost like a marriage. If you're not, what is it, <laughs> equally yoked? Yep. The same with business. Correct. Yep. Yep. And you guys had the same drive and the same, we're not, except for Melissa crying backstage. But the rest, <laughs> other than <laughs> Melissa's breakdown, you had the same stride, yeah. the same, that, that work, that hustle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed.